we've been designing and building amphibs for a long time. We have become the industry leaders, especially in large decks since we've done every one of those that's ever been built. We are the experts. The Navy is continuing to evolve their requirements for ships. So our folks that have been working these ships for years and years are familiar with the design and the demands of the ship. They have the best background to continue to make sure that the ships that we provide meet the mission of the Navy. I'm a Naval Academy graduate and I went to Navy Nuclear Power School. I served on board two U.S. Navy warships. First time quality for engineering is extremely important. First, because we want to make sure that the product that we're providing meets the needs of the Navy and you know, from an operational perspective and also for the needs of the sailors that are and, and Marines that will be living on board. The large deck design is a, a 45 to 50 year old design. We had actually that opportunity on LHA-8 to go in and put together a plan to optimize that design. So one of the unique capabilities and, and opportunities that we had on, on LHA-8 was converting from a 2D CAD environment into the 3D CAD environment. The 3D model provides a visual 3D environment for us to collaborate between different groups as the design develops so that we can identify the most efficient way to design and build the ship, any interferences that we have, and to optimize the design for production. We really took it upon ourselves to try to improve the design. Up front, we set some targets of reduction in materials uh, that it takes to build the ship, reduction in some of the fabrication requirements. In most cases, we have surpassed, and in some cases, we have as much as doubled what we had originally thought that we could get out of the design. The LPD class started with LPD-17 and, and basically built through LPD-27. It was decided to work towards a Flight 2 LPD, which is uh, focused on reducing costs, maintaining capability. We began to transition to Flight 2 on LPD-28 and 29. LPD-28 probably has the most notable change. We went with a traditional steel mast, both forward and aft. If you look a little closer, you'll see that the uh, aft house and forward house have been reduced in size. We were able to rearrange some of the spaces and compartments inside the ship to, to take steel off the ship to reduce cost. We further transitioned on LPD-29 where we changed the material of the steel we use. We went to an HSLA-65 steel. And what that allowed us to do is modify the seams where the plates meet to optimize for our panel lines, but also to eliminate inserts. Uh, inserts add cost. It's constant improvement, focus on safety and quality, the ability to pass along hard-fought lessons, that legacy is what makes us as successful as we are. I vividly remember when LHA-6 sailed away and my husband was on board, and it was definitely an emotional moment, but I was also extremely proud of the product that my company had made and, and that I was a part of making and, and knew that we had done what we needed to do to make sure that they were gonna be able to perform their mission.